Hello, this is James from ComicDeal.com and we are back once again with another unboxing video. This is a pack of 10 comics from Seller Into the Realm, which I believe is a comic shop in England. And they have an on uh, eBay store and they do 10, a pack of 10 mystery box comics. Let me see the description here. It's 10 comic books and it contains 3 DC, 3 Marvel for independence. And a minimum of three issue ones in every pack. No duplicates in each pack. So it doesn't state age wise, so I think it's modern. But uh, let's crack it open. Let's have a look and see. Okay, so they wrap it like it's Christmas. It's in one of the comic mailers and then it's wrapped up like a Christmas present. Might be bagged and boarded, I'm not sure. But uh, this this feels very peculiar, you know, opening a Christmas present in the uh, middle of August. Although if you look at the weather, you would think it was dead winter. Merry Christmas, guys. So we've got, they all seem to be in one bag, like every Christmas morning, we'll just throw this away, uh, how do we do this on camera, Zoop. okay, interesting, open this bag up. Yeah, no, I think there's some sort of board in there, so. And a poster, is they thrown in a poster? I'm not gonna get this in shop, but let's have a look and see what this is. It's a big marble poster. Maybe I'll try to get a picture of this afterwards. What is it, Jessica Jones, it looks like? Okay, a big Jessica Jones poster. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Maybe that's what Mac gave it back. It's interesting. It's definitely not what I expected in that. So we've got a poster and then we've got our comment. Get them the right way around for doing this. Maybe we'll do this, okay. All right, so we'll put these off to the side. Cool poster. I'll see about getting a, putting it out and get a photo of it. We'll clear it in the end of the video. Um, Cause it doesn't fit on my desk. Okay, so let's start with the, the issues. Num issue one we have today here is the search for Ray Palmer, Red Rain. 43, um, Countdown Presents issue one, is that what it is? I, I don't know. Um, yeah, DC, we got a sort of skeleton Batman on there. But yeah, no, I haven't, haven't a clue. Countdown 25, it says in the corner. Um, yeah, I haven't a clue. But that is what's... What's uh, the first one in there? So let's see. Next up, we have Vexed, number six, late nineties. Art by McKeown in there. Um, Vexed number six, DC. Again, not overly familiar with what uh, with this at all. Oh, nice little opening spread there too. That's yeah, Vax number six. I should say actually this. Let me just check the notes again. This cost me. I need to line these up. Let me see. Yeah, the price for this was do do. Yeah, eight pounds. Eight pounds fifty, delivered. Um, again from their eBay store. I'll put a link in the video. But yeah, that's Vax number six. We have Supergirl. And the Legion of Superheroes, um, issue 19, 
in 2006. So that would be our three DC comics. So next we have three Avengers. So what do we, or Avengers, let's <laughs> just look at this. We have three um, Marvel. And this one is the Avengers. Issue one, Monsters Unleashed. Is that a variant cover? Is that um, a Monsters Unleashed variant cover for... Uh... No, it's just Monsters Unleashed. Avengers Monsters Unleashed, issue one. Right? I think so. Okay. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, must be a more sort of recent Avengers teaming. Like mid tens, is it? Two thousand seventeen, so yeah, relatively recent. Um yeah. Avengers Monsters Unleashed, issue one. What is this? Who is Stephen Strange? Issue two of four. Little Doctor Strange book, 2010. Very nice. Despite this next one, Wolverine. Issue 54, the black and white variant. I actually have either an early issue or a later issue, so either 53 or 55 on this run um, with a black and white variant. Um, I might actually also have this book, but not the, not the variant. Um, yeah, and, uh, I mean, I love sort of black and white variants or sketch cover variants, so this one's pretty cool. I like that. Because um, I believe this is a run where Wolverine decapitates Sabretooth. Right? It was like marked as like the, the final sort of battle. Yeah, I have that one. So, issue 55. I definitely have the black and white cover of that one. So, that's pretty cool. That, that fits right into my collection too, which is always lovely. Very nice. Chuffed. Well chuffed, as they say. So, that's our three Marvel, so we should have four independent issues. Um, the first one is Jim Starlin's Cosmic Guard by Devil Dew Publishing, DDP. Yeah, looks, uh, you know, looks interesting enough, a nice, you know, it's an issue one. You know, Jim Starlin is well known for creating some of the most like, sort of cosmic characters in the, in the sort of, um, definitely in the Marvel Universe anyway, isn't it? Uh, Created Thanos and things like that. Yeah, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But yeah, I think I think that's right. Um, yeah, again, these are all in okay condition. They're definitely not near mint. A couple of rounded off corners and things like that. But yeah. Next up from Dreamwave is Warlands Banished Knights. Don't know too much about it. Um, I know I have for some reason a couple of issues of Warlands. I think I think I have a Warlands issue zero or it's issue two or maybe issue one. I'm not sure, but I do have it in my collection somewhere. Um, and it's all very sort of you know, Eastern inspired art. I would say. Next issue we have, well, we just have a, a blank backing board, probably just put in to help out. Why not? Help with the packaging. Um, this one is polybagged from Maxim, Maximum Press. Ugh, press? Maximum Press, issue two. Um, Evangeline, it's gotta be what, nine, late 90s probably. I mean, again, there we go, look at this. A nice little collector's card in there as well as you would expect with it being polybagged. Yeah, I mean it's pretty much 90s feeling all over, doesn't it? You know, those sort of bikini clad, overly stylized 90s books. 
little image and Layfield and all were pumping out back then. It was never really my scene, but um, yeah, Evangeline, issue two. And then the last book in the pack, the last independent book is Dragon Ring number four from Air Cell Comics. Um, I mean, they weren't wrong when they said they're throwing in independence in here because this is probably as independent as it gets. I'm pretty sure I've seen a few Air Cell comics around, um, but Dragon Ring, I mean, does anybody's guess what that is? Yeah, you know, nice little black and white book. Um, Canadian. It's published in Canada. Can in Canada, published in Canada. Um, yeah. Well, when was this done? 1986, so late 80s. Black and white book. Dragon Ring. Okay, an interesting selection um, for, for eight pounds. Um, I think at the minute I probably, um, I'm happy with this one. And like I said, I've got issue 55. I may actually have this issue, but just not, not the variant, not the uh, black and white variant. So that's a win. Um, eight pounds 50, 10 comics across a sort of wide range of publishers. Can't go wrong with that. But as always, I'm going to take a closer look at these books and I will put a follow-up post up on comicdale.com where we'll have a look at values, anything uh, interesting facts about any of the books. So be sure to check that out. That will be coming up in the next couple of days. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. And um, I'll be back with some more videos in the future and some more articles on comicdale.com. So be sure to check it out and I will see you then.